So here we are with our precious peanuts, pups, and the Charlie Brown. And look at these babies. So right there in the foreground is Chuck, and that guy is beefcake at 10 days old. I had to take out the pig rails. I thought these guys, because of him, because he was getting stuck under there, and right behind him is Jose Peterson. So we got Shasta's We Love You Chuck next to Shasta's Rookie of the Year for 2021. And then coming in here, real strong and real beautiful is Lucy. And this is uh, Shasta's The Doctor Is In for 2021. And then over here is my sweet little dolly, Peppermint Patties, snoring away. I know they're boring, you guys, but you ask, keep asking for the videos. And it's true, most people don't video them when they're young and uninteresting. So I'll be flooding you when they're beautiful. Well, they are beautiful, but uh, interesting. Anyway, here's our little Franklin. And he's uh, Shasta's perfectly peanuts for Franklin. And there's our happiness is wearing a flower crown, Belle. And then right here is one of my little cutie pies that I love too, Shasta Sally Brown for president. And look at this guy. When I give him a little nozzle, Chuck likes it. We do love you, Chuck, don't we? That guy's the bruiser and adorable. And he cranks up if he doesn't get food right away. But he's kind of a pro at getting food. And so, yeah, I just wanted to show everybody the pups at uh, however old they are, nine days. And it's really funny because with seven of them, which is a very big litter for Staffords, it still feels small because I'm used to nine from last year. And she actually had 10, but we lost the one the first night. And then uh, eight from the year before and all eight made it. So anyway, we're pleased to punch with these guys. And I just want to say we're home early from the show because Asher broke his... He brought one breed six, five days in a row, and today on day six, I kind of thought that might happen, um, and uh, that's just the way it goes sometimes, and I don't mind, and Elvis got points two days in a row, his first point, so that was awesome. Yesterday, we witnessed the dark side of the sport, which you are going to see when someone tried to pull their dog, apparently, um, to, uh, even though they had told me they were going to be there when I texted them four days earlier because I didn't want my sweet puppy owners with a two-month-old baby to pay for a hotel and drive all that way. And so at the last minute, they were not going to show the dog one excuse after another. And then they finally begrudgingly did, but were furious when we won. And of course, had we not won, that wouldn't be a conversation that would have been having, as my friend pointed out, um, if they had won. And the person who showed the dog did a very honorable job. So anyway, it's just the way it goes sometimes. Um, it was a bummer. But anyway, that was Don't Want to Taint, the great people at the shows, and including uh, my friends and other breeds who've really helped out a lot with things, pitched in and helped me show dogs, and also just a really great job with a professional handler that I had today that helped me out with Elvis while I showed Covey. Um, and yesterday I showed Elvis. So anyway, there it is. Here's our beautiful... Shasta gang at nine days old and these guys are getting sluggy like their last puppies too well fed I thought we were going to get some eyes opening around day 10 this time but I don't think so huh Lucy Lucy mm -hmm, I like a little chalk Henrietta he might need to be one of your favorites this guy's real mellow but of course you like the fireballs which is right there our little flower crown girl all right bye bye